We've almost done a whole year of Wiki Wednesdays. To finish the year for our April Wiki series, I wanted to talk about the animals my mommy and daddy saw when they went to South Africa on their honeymoon. That was when they became a family, but before they became my family. We have already met some of these animals like the giraffe and the elephant, but there are others like today's animal, the warthog. You might know him better as Pumbaa from The Lion King. Let's learn all about them, okay? The link to the Wikipedia article is in the description below if you want to read along. The common warthog is a wild member of the pig family, found in grassland, savanna, and woodlands in sub-Saharan Africa. Description. The common warthog is a medium-sized species. Females, at 99 to 165 pounds, are typically slightly smaller and lighter in weight than males at 130 to 330 pounds. A warthog is identifiable by the two pairs of tusks protruding from the mouth and curving upward. The lower pair, which is far shorter than the upper pair, becomes razor sharp by rubbing against the upper pair every time the mouth is opened and closed. The upper canine teeth can grow to 10 inches long and have a wide elliptical cross section being about one and three quarters inches deep and one inch wide. A tusk will curve 90 degrees or more from the root and will not lie flat on a table as it curves somewhat backwards as it grows. I think it must be uncomfortable to have teeth that do not stay in your mouth. The tusks are not used for digging, but are used for combat with other hogs and in defense against predators. The lower set can inflict severe wounds. The head of a common warthog is large, with a mane down the spine to the middle of the back. Sparse hair covers the body. Its color is usually black or brown. Tails are long and end with a tuft of hair. Common warthogs do not have subcutaneous fat, and the coat is very sparse, making them susceptible to extreme environmental temperatures. Daddy says that I'm too skinny and don't have enough fat. Is that because I am part warthog too? Ecology. The common warthog is the only pig species that has adapted to grazing and savanna habitats. Its diet is omnivorous, composed of grasses, roots, berries, and other fruits, bark, fungi, insects, eggs, and carrion. I eat eggs and fruits, but the rest sound yucky. The diet is seasonably variable depending on availability of different food items. During the wet seasons, warthogs graze on short perennial grasses. During the dry seasons, they subsist on bulbs, rhizomes, and nutritious roots. Warthogs are powerful diggers, using both their snouts and feet. Digging is so much fun, but I only use my pawsies. When feeding, they often bend their front feet backwards and move around on the wrists. Callus pads that protect the wrists during such movement form quite early in the development of the fetus. Although they can dig their own burrows, they commonly occupy abandoned burrows of aardvarks and other animals. The common warthog commonly reverses into burrows with its head facing the opening and ready to burst out if necessary. See, Mommy, when I back into my car carrier, I'm just practicing being a warthog. Common warthogs will wallow in mud to cope with high temperatures and huddle together to cope with low temperatures. I do this too when I am out in the cold. One of my paw rents will usually pick me up and hold me to keep me warm. Although capable of fighting, males aggressively fight each other during mating season. The common warthog's primary defense is to flee by means of fast sprinting. When threatened, warthogs can run speeds of up to 30 miles per hour, will run with their tails sticking up, and will enter their dens rear first with tusks facing out. That's silly, you can't run as fast with your tail sticking up. The common warthog's main predators are humans, lions, leopards, cheetahs, crocodiles, wild dogs, and hyenas. Wild dogs are completely different than domesticated dogs. I might chase a warthog, but I wouldn't hurt one. Birds of prey such as eagle owls and martial eagles sometimes prey on piglets. However, if a female common warthog has any piglets, she will defend them very aggressively. On occasion, common warthogs have been observed charging and even wounding large predators. 
Common warthogs have also been observed allowing banded mongooses and vervet monkeys to groom them to remove ticks. Social behavior and reproduction. Common warthogs are seasonal breeders. Rutting begins in the late rainy or early dry season, and birthing begins near the start of the following rainy season. The mating system is described as overlap promiscuity. The males have ranges overlapping several female ranges, and the daily behavior of the female is unpredictable. Boars employ two mating strategies during the rut. With the staying tactic, a boar will stay and defend certain females or a resource valuable to them. In the roaming tactic, boars seek out sows and compete for them. Boars will wait for sows to emerge outside their burrows. Boars are boy warthogs and sows are girls. A dominant boar will displace any other boar that also tries to court his female. When a sow leaves her den, the boar will try to demonstrate his dominance. The typical gestation period is five to six months. When they are about to give birth, sows temporarily leave their families to farrow in a separate hole. The litter is two to eight piglets, with two to four typical. The sow will stay in the hole for several weeks, nursing her piglets. Common warthog sows have been observed to nurse foster piglets if they lose their own litter. This behavior, known as aloe sucking, makes them cooperative breeders. Aloe sucking does not seem to be a case of mistaken identity or milk theft, and may be a sign of kin altruism. Daddy says this is very uncommon among animals. Piglets begin grazing at about two to three weeks and are weaned by six months. Piglets quickly obtain mobility and stay close to their mothers for defense. We sure learned a lot about warthogs from this article. I especially liked how mommy warthogs will take care of piglets that aren't their own. I wish every animal was like that. We all need a little help sometimes. I think I'll be like a warthog mommy and share the next part of Lad with you on Fiction Friday. And then you can come back on Music Monday to see what my parents have been putting me through lately with my newest song. Thanks for learning with me today. Bye!